Hello, Pixel Gunners. Here's your loyal community manager, Nick. Social media manager, Max. First of all, we'd like to congratulate you all on the holiday season and welcome to our Too Little Too Late Christmas show. 2024 has landed, so it's high time to recap the legacy of the expiring year of the rabbit. You know, to remember all the stories we've created all together, new guns and features in the game, some big announcements we made, and of course, what exactly can you expect in the very near future? After all, in 2023, we celebrated our 10th anniversary, and Pixel God 3D has changed dramatically throughout these years. And will evolve even more. But that's more than enough waffling. Let's check out our biggest 2023 achievements. Let's start with shedding a nostalgic tear about the past seasons. All the heroes we've met, all the villains we've fought, all the plot twists we've experienced, and all the guns we've collected, or not. We've narrowed it down to top four seasons, according to us, the community yeah. managers. Don't get us wrong, we can talk about PG3D as much as low priority you can listen to music, but the video has to end somewhere. We started 2023 with one of our most beautiful seasons to date, the Dark Cold Season. The visual style for the season is based on gothic and natural motives. Tectonic looks come from natural elements like tree branch silhouettes, roots, and animalistic lines and details. So the visual aspect alone make this season exceptional, at least in my books. The most unexpected season of this year was, of course, the edible main season. Again, it's a very interesting season in terms of visuals. We had to be very precise with the proportions to make everything look grotesque, yet funny and lighthearted. Well, you know, with a story about a crazy cook trying to conquer the world with an army of giant food products, one incursion step could take the atmosphere in the wrong direction. But we'll manage to play it right and create something unique like pasta weapon set. Personally, I still get kicked out of past and greater animation. It's so awesome. The most anticipated season of 2023 was, of course, our PG Grand Anniversary season. It was something very special to all of us. You know, when a mobile game project strikes 10, it's really, really something else. And we knew for the fact that it was a very important season for you, so we had to do our best here in terms of art, guns, armor, lobby, avatars, everything. Plus, there are some wings for the OG players here and there. Finally, the reference of the year, the background season. In this pixel pet season, we tried to adapt the popular urban legend, you know, that grown out out of control from the popular creepypasta, and mix it with our own pixel pet 3D lore. And I'd go as far as saying it turned out brilliantly, especially the characters. Lost Rosie and Kitty are my new favorite characters in the game. Moreover, we wanted to sign our patch notes with Lost Rosie as an author, but dropped the idea so as not to confuse anyone. Actually, we had lots of wonderful seasons this year. Like PG Circus, Abandoned Lighthouse, AI Rain, PG Noir, Christmas Brawl season. Please share with us what was your favorite 2023 season. This year we came with some of the finest pieces of weaponry PG 3D has ever created. Let's take a quick peek at the best guns of the year. The first one that jumps to mind is Bloody Terror X. Ultra aggressive look in melee with light steel, it's the epitome of shock as we intended it to be. And we know that you're a fan of it too when it comes to the melee weapons. Then of course, you can walk by the faster type front. Critical hit after reloading, great self-heal, plus the exploding frag effect, you just can't go wrong with this sniper rifle. Well, I have a soft spot for a different sniper weapon. Call me what you will, but it's the intelligent cyberbot. There is nothing like earning a kill with one charged headshot this battle. And the real low damage helps to teach your opponents to respect your personal space. Of course, it got nerfed a bit, but my first choice in their armory except for the sniper turret. It's not a gun, it's the T-1000 Terminator. Let's change the range a bit and turn to our special options. Here I'm gonna play my ace and name the armed war whip. It cuts the armor like butter and the range is awesome. And you can't praise the design enough, there is something oddly satisfying about running in the area, striking everyone down with Cthulhu's hand of vengeance. Speaking about design, I've got another beautifully crafted little thing in my mind. It's Kid and Cutie. Yeah, it has some really nice AoE damage and the charm effect you can't ignore, but for me personally, it's all about the design. 
I just can't get enough of this weapon. Especially when you see it in your hands, it's just a pure awe. Aww. Yet again, we'd like to know your perspective on the best guns of 2023. So please, do not hesitate to leave your mark in the comment section below. The happening of the year was obviously our 10th anniversary. 10 years is a long time for a video game, but for a mobile game, it's like a nail. Pixel Gun 3D made its first step in 2013 as a small, clunky, yet funny single-player shooter. And look at it now. Grand multiplayer shooter with tens of modes, dozens of maps, more than a thousand guns, and about half a million people daily. But the truth to the matter is that PG3D is not all about bigger, faster, and stronger. It's about the community. Aww. Sounds corny and hackneyed, I know, but bear with me a little bit. 10 years, as we earlier said, is a pretty big chunk of time. And throughout these years, Pixel Gun 3D became the game that a whole generation was raised on. For a lot of people out there on the net, PG3D is a childhood game. A lot of people have missed over their eyes hearing classic lobby music. So for all of us, the 10th birthday of the game was more than just a red letter day. More than just a reminder that we did something long lasting, which is an achievement on its own. It was a celebration of being not just part of the video game history, but a personal history of millions of gamers around the world. We tried to make it as memorable as we could. There were symbolic awards for him, if I made the LAN service special games for veteran pixel gunners, challenges from our YouTubers, cosplay contests, and many other activities. It was the time that we launched our merch shop and, if my memory doesn't deceive me, it was our very first extraction mode, which became a base for some other game modes like pumpkin hunting on Halloween or the recent Christmas showdown. I avail myself of the opportunity to thank you all for being there and making it happen. 2024 has just started, so there's still time to take a lingering look at the fruits of our hard work. Let's move on to the most interesting and useful features we introduced last year. One of the best things we ever did was the Help Center, easily the top contender for the Feature of the Year award. There you can find detailed guides and answers to all FAQs, but most importantly, it's the best way to solve your personal issues within the game. Also, we started the Battle Royale mode upgrading process. We've already changed the kill trick system and made an adjustment to the chest spawning algorithm. Again, this was just the beginning. We get more changes coming to the Battle Royale and we will keep posted at every step of this process. Another feature of the last year was the map rotation. I know it's not something completely new. Of course, some of you guys have seen it before. But some time ago, we had seized the map rotation and finally got back to this last year. We've already discussed the extraction mode, so among the new modes and activities, I just added limited time events where you can stack up a bunch of useful stuff, no fuss, no muss. As you know, oh, maybe not. we're constantly working on the optimization of our game. Since it's a continuous process, sometimes it can be overlooked by the players. For instance, we've made the shader refactoring to optimize the performance of Pixel Gun 3D on old mobile devices. Also, we've greatly reduced the size of the builds and increased overall performance of the game. What else? Mm, this year, we've added two new gadgets. Plastic grenade and turtle shell. By the way, Max, which gadget do you prefer most? Churkin, I guess. Uh, no, I mean among these two. Oh, turtle power! I mean, turtle shell. Yeah. Okay. I go with the Cluster Greeny. Prefer to stay agile, but since you blurred with this turtle power rant, who's your favorite Ninja Turtle? Um, Raphael? He's cool, but rude. And doesn't respect the chain of command. Next time, pick another one. Um, yeah. Gem Boosters. Mm hmm. Gem Booster was released not so long ago. Maybe not the game changer at the first glance, but it's a great way to keep your stockpile of gems growing healthy and steadily. 2023 was the year that we introduced gifts for your fellow pixel gunner. A small but very nice thing and remade the usual lottery and setting to the fulfillment of desires. All the guns, avatars and whatnot we handpicked according to your request. Also, we launched our merch shop for the pixel gunner that's for them fancy looks. And recently, our new players could see our overhaul tutorial, since we decided to improve the starting player experience. 
and we're gonna be focusing on it throughout the whole 2024. And the brand new desktop, we did it, right? Um, I don't know. Have you seen it? Me? Have you seen it? Depends on the video you release. Anyway, you most probably have already seen it or going to pretty much soon. Oh, and I almost forgot about the back shop. Yeah, I'm aware that when a pixel gunner hears something like shop, store, or price, it triggers a chemical reaction on the braid and immediately forces him or her to type letters P to W in the nearest command section. But it's a great tool for our game. A free reward every day, even if it seems to be just triple. Check. Special offers for currencies and weapon sets with a discount. Check. A platform with a promo code support system. Check. By the way, the latter can be overemphasized. It helps you, players, to save you money. It helps us to diversify our offers. And finally, it helps your favorite YouTubers to gain your financial support more efficiently with the referral link system. So, if it gets down to real money, offers, webshop is a win-win situation for all parties involved. But enough about capitalism, let's take some more interesting topics to discuss. In 2023, we introduced the account transfer from Google Play to App Gallery and vice versa. This feature has already served well to lots of players. But let's face it, we've got a long way to go in terms of the account transfer. Yeah, we hear all of you guys that desperately need to move from Android to iOS, and believe me, we're doing our best to find a safe way for this in 2024. And last but not least, patch notes. With every update, we are down the status report about all the bugs we fixed, features we added, maps we rotated, and new game modes and events for you to expect. Long story short, it's a perfect way to keep track of everything happening to your favorite mobile shooter. So, if you haven't already gotten familiarized with your patch notes, make sure to check them out. I mean, for real, they're worth your time. Last year, you witnessed the announcement of Pixel Gun 3D PC Edition and the new incarnation of Block City Wars. Wanna know some specifics and solid facts about the upcoming releases? Thought as much? The PG3D Steam release will go as planned in 2024. There are still some details left to polish and preparations to organize, but all in all, we're smoothly and steadily moving towards the release. Also, I found some rumors about the Steam Deck support. Block City Wars is also going to be released next year. We're coming with a wet sale, but it's even harder to pinpoint a particular date. The current build looks solid, but I'm not gonna lie, we've got lots of testing and polishing to do before you'll be able to set your pixel feet at the shore of San Francisco. This year, we plan to alter and fortify our anti-cheat system. We're aware that you guys are waiting for our response to the cheater activity, so we're looking forward to sharing some solid numbers and particular results of our work on that matter. Next, we have plans for enhancing the player's experience in the game, newcomers and OGs alike. We're going to clean up the lobby, rebuild the tournament system and introduce a brand new type of brawls. We're talking about not your typical brawls, but something completely different. Highly competitive matches with high TTK and widened field of view. I guess I'll sell for this little teaser. The details will emerge soon enough. I guess we have to wrap it up somewhere and that moment as good as any. Thank you so much for watching. If you like a little recap, leave a like on the video and of course share your feedback in the comment section below on any point we've just discussed since, you see, it's your comments and thoughts that help us make Pixel Gun 3D better. So don't be coy. See you somewhere near the classic pool. Bye. See ya.